god damn, ladies and gentlemen, gaming is truly wild. Right now, they are banning Hogwarts Legacy from more websites. Drop a thumbs up if you're still getting the game. Dislike if you're not getting the game. I want to see like how many people are getting and how many people are not. We got new information as well. And apparently, this one is... Yo, prepare for this one, okay? Prepare for impact. I don't think any of you expected this, but this is also happening. Check this out, okay? So, Sebastian... Croft apologizes amid Hogwarts Legacy game casting backlash? Wait, what? Yeah. And those of you that do not know, Sebastian Croft is the main actor behind Hogwarts Legacy. And right oh, now shit. he's coming out and he's apologizing? Oh my god! Uh, I was casting this project over three years ago. Back when all Harry Potter was to me was the magical world I grew up with. This was long before I was aware of J.K. Rowling's views. Oh wow! Oh my god! Shocking! Yo, Man, I'm telling y'all, man, this is insane. So you're telling me after getting all that money after three years, right now he's apologizing? Bruh. Bruh. Now listen, man, if you give your finger to the cancel culture, they will take your hand. I can guarantee you he's gonna be apologizing for a lot more stuff that he never did. But ladies and gentlemen, with the Bruh. Bruh moment, we're gonna dive into it, drop a thumbs up. So Hogwarts Legacy out. has been banned from a major name. Swimming is actually a thing. And thanks to some new info, Xbox users are now able to pre-download the game. And lastly, three types of quests what? have been revealed. So we have loads oh, to yeah, get through, true. so let's dive into it. Firstly, a major gaming forum, which goes by the name of Reset Error, has completely banned any discussion of Hogwarts legacy. Now, Reset Error's forum's general manager said that, quote-unquote, the mod team has decided to expand our prior ban on any promotion for the Hogwarts game to include the game itself, with, quote-unquote, no discussion of this game allowed on the site. Now, previously, if I'm not mistaken, they actually did attempt to do a soft ban, making it only one page, I believe, but now they have just completely axed the entire thing. Good or bad Bruh. move? Let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comment section below. Now, swimming in this game has been something we've all been wondering, and well, we have no. some news. Practically confirmed by expect to go Now, expect to go posted a poll on his YouTube community section just a couple of hours ago, asking if is swimming in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, he responded to a comment or thread, if you will, of people saying that he definitely knows, and he responded mm. to all of one if you want swimming two if you don't want it i guess it wouldn't hurt though swimming wouldn't hurt so i would love to get it those comments with just a smiley face now someone mentioned that given that he probably has already reviewed the game at this point Ow, teacher teacher he knows he is cheating <laughs> he knows i guess that's a yes let's keep a buck 50. that's a yes man swimming in this game oh my god yes i'm shaking oh, I'm, I'm shaking, shaking. I'm shaking. I mean, do you think this could actually mean that swimming is in the game now this user continued to say that many youtubers including him have had lots of discussions about this topic and most of them denied that we will be able to swim in this game but why would he ask all of a sudden and then yeah. they said that they don't really care if we will be given the possibility to explore the depths of the lake but they just thought that the poll was posted with ultimately curious timing now swimming or not it's one of those small features in my opinion that just make your exploration that little bit more fun and hey attention to detail right now what would you be able to find in the lakes is a complete different scenario but as i say it's one of those things to just make your gameplay experience that extra bit more fun now xbox users as of today or at least wouldn't wouldn't that increase the the gigabytes though like Bruh. wouldn't that increase the size though and listen this is actually truly wild i i was not expecting that the xbox i think he's gonna dive in i also posted this over on my twitter my twitter is uh, linked in the description it is on on screen as well alongside my instagram at skizzalike same as my youtube channel name i posted this last night because somebody one of you actually reached out to me and said that bro like you can now download hogwarts legacy at least on the xbox and you want to guess the size it is 77 gigs 77 gigs i should say one if that's fine to if not because uh, i'm kind of mixed right i'm at least glad that it's not like 100 plus gigs like call of duty but i'm also like eh, it's a little bit too much but it's quite understandable because they got the entire hogwarts uh, area right like they got the entire castle Bruh. so it, it's kind of understandable i guess maybe you agree at least when i'm making this video anyway Disagree? seem to be able to pre-download the game so someone posted this with a screenshot saying hello all not sure if anyone has posted or talked about this yet yep, already yep, yep, but yep. it appears 
that Hogwarts Legacy is already available for pre-download on the Xbox Series consoles. 70, 77 gigs W, L, or you wish that it was a little bit lower, but you're still gonna cope because uh, you like what you see. Uh, I wanna know if you're gonna cope or not. Now, cope if you have an Xbox, not. let me know if you can actually go ahead and pre-download this. Again, as I'm making this video right now, I'm not sure if it's been stopped or if it's still continuing, or if you can actually do it for the PlayStation 5. So let me know if you've tried it on any Man. of these consoles down in the comment section below. Now, three types of quests have been revealed from the art book, and they are very, very, very interesting. So the three that we have are the Golden Path, Side Missions, and then Class Assignments. So I'm just going to give a brief overview on each of these as a whole. So starting with the Golden Path, what it says is, the Golden Path leads the player from learning the most basic of magic in classes to their discovery of their unique ability to wield ancient magic. All these necessary acquired skills will enable them to basically go to Victor Rookwood and his criminal gang and stop the Goblin Rebellion that threatens Hogwarts. Now that alone, that just sounds yeah. incredibly fun. And again, I'm one of these people that just don't want to do the base of the game and then there's just absolutely nothing else going on after that. So just hearing things like this, it definitely does get me very, very excited. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a W. That, that's a W. I, I do agree. Like, if there is more stuff to do, I mean, more stuff, the better, right? Because a lot of people are like, you mean, it's a single player game. Once I have finished it, like, there's no multiplayer. Like, what am I going to play? E I'm not going to be shaking. Oh, oh, shaking. if they add more stuff, that's going to be really good. But I, I seriously feel like that the story needs to be the main thing man like if the story they're saying it's gonna be like 30 hours right i mean i don't i don't know man ijen is probably gonna finish it in about like two three hours let's keep a buck 50. Uh, they're like boom, 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 boom. but if the story is good bro that's all that matters because if the story is good this game is going to be memorable for years and years to come and knowing that there are four houses people are gonna replay this game at least four times and if, if the story is good well it's gonna be one of those games that you're gonna come back to maybe two years from now five years from now ten years from now it, it's gonna be really really memorable for sure it. Now, next up is, of course, side missions. So what it says here is that side missions help define who the player is as a wizard, inspiring them to investigate locations, retrieve magical artifacts, learn secrets of Hogwarts and Hogsmeade, and help fellow students solve personal dilemmas. Side missions tend to be more open method, says Kelly Murphy, as they have fewer narrative beats that we need to weave the player through. So they basically are built with the player agency in mind. Now, one thing that really stuck out to me right here was where it said that you can help fellow students solve personal dilemmas. Now, one thing that's been going around more recently, of course, is about the density of this game and how, you know, expectations should be, you know, very much measured accurately with what we've seen. Yo, so okay, yo, we gotta, like, uh, first of all, pump the brakes, okay? <laughs> Guys, listen, okay, listen. If the the NPC spam is, like, Cyberpunk 2077, I know. I, stop it I know, okay, guys, come on, man. I, I get it, I get it. Like, how did you, excuse me, why did you think that way, man? Why, why, why you were actually, why you are saying that? Guys, if the NPC spam is like cyberpunk where it's like non-existent that would truly be sad i really hope there are a lot of npcs walking around <laughs> so far and what i think is very interesting is a topic was brought up more recently regarding how the npcs in the game are quite literally just npcs and they're not really doing a whole bunch apart from just standing there yeah now this kind of just i guess goes against that because what i'm basically perceiving this as is that you can interact with npcs aka fellow students and then of course solve those personal dilemmas so again at that point once you solve their problem do you kind of i mean it, like is there something else that happens after that do you get some type of man i got enough problems on my own i ain't got time to solve their problems, Kaji. reward what could it possibly be if you have any thoughts on this let me know again in the comment section below now lastly is class assignments so class assignments basically encourage players to explore the castle at the highlands to find collect and battle where needed in creating the class assignments it says that the team yo you know that muffer is gonna love this one <laughs> Yeah, imagine a kid is playing this game. He's like, teacher, teacher, don't give me homework. I got homework in Hogwarts Legacy. That's more important. Man, that's truly gonna be a bruh, bruh moment, bruh. Sort a balance between which spells they wanted to use on the Golden Path and which spells would be optional based on factors of benefits and expectations. So again, those are just three of these, I guess you could say quests, right, that are gonna be in the game that have come yeah. directly from that art book. And that, again, just gets me very, very excited. Now, this week, what we do know is an important week because we also know people have got the game right now, which is a big yep. confusion, pretty much. And ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna play the game early, click on this video on the screen. This is a full guide on what's the best edition and how you can play early or click the video on the left where a dev came forward and he did talk about multiplayer is it coming is it not click on that video on the left and i will see you right there